Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and here is the second video using this week's Glitters of the Week from the Nail Team. This collection is the Yummy Collection and in this design I've used this beautiful taupe mix. This is creme brulee, I think it is an absolutely beautiful coloured glitter. So if you'd like to see how I've created this set then please keep watching. I am working on Ebony, my Elena hand today, and I've applied the extra long coffin tips from Gems, and then I have cut them to a shorter almond shape. Um, you know I'm absolutely loving this shape and length at the moment. So in this set, I will be using the Gems acrylic system as always. I have got crystal clear, and my cover powder in this set is peachy peach. I thought it would go perfectly with that glitter. I have then dug out of my nail art supply stash these gold foil flakes. I thought they would go really nicely with this glitter just to add a touch of gold. And this is the glitter mix. This is creme brulee. A really pretty colour, a really easy to wear glitter. Um, and I wanted to show it on ebony just to show that it goes with all sorts of colour skin tones. So, first things first, let's do our thin clear base. So I am putting down crystal clear with, I think I'm using my Kate brush in this design. Um, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Kate, the size 10 acrylic brush. Um, how are you enjoying these glitter of the week designs? Um, as I said, it's really helped me for creating my designs and my content each week because I have something to work to. Um, but it does mean I have to get them up on time. <laughs> now I have done that thin clear base, we're going to get started with our cover powder. As I said, this is Peachy Peach, the real peach cover acrylic i love this one uh, but then i say that about all of them i am going to do just sort of from the cuticle and fade it down on the index finger i'm going to do the same on the pinky as well i'm going to be applying glitter and those foil flakes at the tip so i'm not worried about how far down the nail i go but i do tend to like to take it just past sort of that base nail free edge and make sure I've got perfect coverage and shape around the cuticle. And then on the ring finger, as you see I'm doing here, uh, I'm gonna do a reverse smile line. So picked up my first bead, drained out a lot of the liquid so that it doesn't just, that's the technical term, all over the nail. And then I'm just using the side of my brush to really shape that file, uh, file line. I always say that. To shape that smile line but if it's not perfect I can file it that's why I always get those two words muddled up because they come together so often in what I'm saying uh, once I'm happy with that first bead I will then apply the second cuticle bead sometimes I will create the apex and the structure with the cover powder sometimes I will just get the nail bed color down and I will do the apex with crystal clear I can't remember what I did this time. So it's gonna be as much of a surprise as it is for you. I only filmed this video last week. Um, it goes to show how shocking my memory is. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, so I'm just finishing, making sure I keep that smile line nice and neat. Uh, as I said, it doesn't matter if it's not absolutely perfect because I can file it. And I also want to make sure I build up a nice even wall all the way round so that I have a nice straight smile line when I've added what I'm adding at the tip, in this case, glitter. And here you can see I'm just doing that same uh, nail bed from the cuticle and just fading it down the nail. I decided I would do my apex with the cover powder here. So I've just gone back in once that has semi set and just added a further bead where the apex would be because it wasn't quite right. 
and then I will let all of that nail bed set before filing. So I am now going to start working with these foil flakes. Now these fly everywhere. They're like the unicorn flakes. So don't sneeze, don't breathe, don't cough, don't heavy talk, anything like that. I take some of it out and sort of rip it up on my kitchen towel or my whatever with tweezers and the brush. And then I've just gone on with a very small wash of clear acrylic and then just picked those pieces up with my wet brush and stuck them in. It doesn't matter if they're a bit big because you can sort of tear them and smush them once they're on the nail. Uh, but they are really light uh, and as I said they do tear very easily so you can get quite a nice sort of cracked effect with them. Uh, if the nail dries out just go in with a little wash of clear even to be honest a wash of monomer will do the trick and I just want to completely cover the tips on these two nails just overlapping the uh, cover powder slightly but I am going to put some of that glitter on as well so I want to continue to keep it nice and thin. On this middle nail I am starting off with creme brulee look how pretty that one is I've kept this at real time I think Either that or I forgot to speed it up because I'm working really slow here. I can definitely tell the difference between what's sped up and what isn't these days. So I've started off with a smaller bead, as you know I like to do, just so that I can get the cuticle nice and neat. It's a bit too of a smaller bead. So I've gone in with a little bit more and here you can see I'm just using that very tip of my brush, blah, 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 very tip of my brush <laughs> to, um, push the glitter pieces around so that I've got a nice full coverage straight cuticle line and then just as I'm bringing it up the side walls where they've still got the skin the skin um, I just want to make sure that's nice and neat still and then once I've sort of done the neaty bit I can go in with a slightly bigger bead of this glitter I actually put the acrylic down first which I don't normally do I don't know why I did possibly because I knew I was going to add the gold flakes as well and I've just just patting those glitter pieces into that wet acrylic uh, and just using the tip of the brush again just to spread those pieces out so keeping them nice and flat because we do need to encapsulate and uh, just adding a few more and then once I was happy with the glitter I'm now going in with a few more of those gold flakes just at the tip just a little way down um, I don't want to cover fully cover that glitter you can see I've gone in with quite a big bit there but move it around in that wet acrylic and it does tear and break very easily and if you think when I'm working with decals I say you don't want to smush or push or prod them too much because they will tear that is effectively what will happen with them if you overwork the decals so these flakes you can be a little bit more vigorous with if you want to tear them up decals just lightly pat them down um so i don't want to fully cover this glit uh, glitter i just want to have sort of that mix of foil flakes and glitter and now on the index and i'll do the same on the pinky i'm going to do a little bit of a swoosh swoosh I have to say it like that, I don't know why, it's just sort of in my head now. It's like starting off my videos. Hi my lovelies, it's kind of just my thing. Um, anyway, I'm doing that little swoosh of creme brulee glitter and exactly the same on the pinky. I, I don't want to sort of clump it up, I don't want to build it up, I just want to poke those little, little glitter pieces around so I've got a nice little swoosh showing off the gold, showing off the cover powder, showing off the glitter. Um, if you keep working it quite wet, you've got longer to play with it. Um, so you've got more time to move the glitter around, making sure it doesn't bulk up and you've got it how you want it. If your clear acrylic is too dry, it will just set and you won't have time to do that. Off camera, I filed my smile line. I have to think about it when I say that. Uh, and now I'm just going to add some of those gold flakes just on that tip. Uh, so I'm trying to get this right up into the wings. It doesn't matter if it overlaps that nail bed too much because uh, we can file that all away. Uh, and then I'm just going to pat 
some of those glitter pieces just on top not so I fully cover it I want to see that gold foil coming through underneath just a few little glitter pieces here and there and now that is this acrylic design all laid down so I now need to encapsulate all of these nails just encapsulate the tip of that ring finger we want to create all our apex our structure make sure all the glitters the foils everything is fully encapsulated and then we can file these back to shape ready to finish this design off with my favorite part We are all beautifully filed now and I'm going to give them a really good clean over. I do go in with a dust brush first but actually sometimes I think that makes it worse. So just give them a nice wipe over with a lint free wipe, some cleanser, sanitizer, whatever you prefer. Get rid of any little bits of dust and fluff. And now I'm going to go in with Felicity Flex just around the cuticle of my ring finger where I've done that nail bed and I'm just going to apply a few crystals on here so I'm just sort of spreading that out so it's not a lumpy I've got a line or anything you can see I've just rubbed it down a bit with my gloved finger uh, and now I'm just applying some gold and possibly even sort of some rosy gold taupey gold is that a thing I don't know uh, just a variety of gold crystals, uh, just like a little crystal tiara around the cuticle. And then just in between the crystals on either side, I'm just adding a few little gold micro beads. Um, I don't work with micro beads very often, but they do look very pretty. Uh, and because I can just lay them into that Felicity Flex and they shouldn't move around too much, she says, um, I can then cure them in place. Uh, don't forget this is a gel and they will sort of move a little bit until you cure it. So just before you get your lamp to it or I tend to flash cure with my torch, just check the placement of everything. You can use the pointer end of your pickup tool just to move them back into place if you need to. And then I do like to just flash cure with my torch before popping them in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. This just means when I move the hand, then less chance of them sliding around. Now that Tina Top is fully, no, now that Felicity Flex is fully cured and those crystals are in place, it's time for my favorite part. It's time to wave the magic wand. That is Tina Top, wake these nails up bring them back to life and finish them off. So I'm gonna apply a nice coat of this over all of the nails. On that ring finger, I'm gonna get right up to those crystals. I wanna make sure I cover any little bits of Felicity Flex because she does have a tacky layer, uh, so I don't want any tackiness left. Um, I don't worry if I cover those micro beads ever so slightly, but I don't want to cover the crystals. But covering the micro beads does just give them a little bit extra stuckness. Uh, that's a word as well. It's the word of Friday, stuckness. Because <laughs> um, they can sometimes just ping off. So you see I went in with my detailer brush all the way around, right up and close. I'm just going to do the final nail and then we can cure these for 60 seconds and this golden creme brulee design is done. What do you think of this one? It's um, it's such a neutral set uh, but that pop of gold I think just really elevates it. I think it's a beautiful design. I really do. I love this one. Um, I love that glitter. I love this whole glitter collection I'll be honest. Um, but it doesn't really matter what I think. What you guys think is what's important to me. So please let me know in the comments and always please give this my videos a thumbs up because it means the world to me. We've nearly come to the end of the Yummy Collection week. I've got one more design which I will be sharing with you on Sunday. But don't forget to check out my Facebook and my Instagram. They're both Cinder Heli Nails because I've got more designs on there and some with Blossom, which is the gel colour of the week. I will pop all of the product details in the description box. Don't forget, if you are shopping at the nail team, use my code HELEN5 for a discount. 
Uh, you can also use the same code HELEN5 at Crystal Parade for 5% off any crystals. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and if you've not already, I'd love it even more if you would click subscribe to my channel and of course leave me any comments below. I love to hear from you all. I hope you have a wonderful Friday evening and whatever weekend plans you may have, have a fabulous time. I will be back with you on Sunday with the final yummy design of the week. But until then, thank you so, so much for watching. It means everything to me. Take care, have a wonderful weekend and I'll be back with you on Sunday. Bye. Mwah.